Evening Meditation, Fourth Week of Lent, March 15th, 2021. Meditations are taken from Meditations and Readings for Every Day of the Year by St. Alphonsus de Liguori, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, First Choice's Teacher in Moral Theology. Act of Faith in the Presence of God. Nomina Patria Fili, Spiritus Sancti, Amen, Most Holy, Adorable, and Undivided Trinity, One God and Three Persons, I believe that Thou art here present. I adore Thee with the deepest humility, and render to Thee with my whole heart the homage which is due to Thy Sovereign Majesty. Grant me the grace to pray as I ought. Speak, Lord, for Thy servant heareth. O Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and my Mother, I ask for the grace to continue to pray. St. Alphonsus de Liguori, pray for us. Christian soul, reflect on these every day of your life. There is one God to glorify, one eternity to prepare for, saints and angels to call upon, one life to use well, one body to mortify, one death to suffer, one hell to avoid, one judgment to confront, one Jesus to imitate, one soul to save, neighbors to edify, one world to be detached from, sins to expiate for, passions to subject to our will, virtues to acquire, one heaven to win. Act of humility, litany of humility. O Jesus, meek and humble of heart, hear me. From the desire of being esteemed, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being loved, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being stoled, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being honored, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being praised, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being preferred to others, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being consulted, deliver me, Jesus. From the desire of being approved, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being humiliated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being despised, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of suffering rebukes, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being culminated, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being forgotten, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being ridiculed, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being wronged, deliver me, Jesus. From the fear of being suspected, deliver me, Jesus. That others may be loved more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be esteemed more than I, Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That in the opinion of the world, others may increase and I may decrease. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be chosen and I set aside. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be praised and I unnoticed. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may be preferred to me in everything. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. That others may become holier than I, provided that I may become as holy as I should. Jesus, grant me the grace to desire it. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we ask for your guidance in this our evening meditation through the intercession of thy blessed Mother Mary, ever Virgin. Ave Maria, gratia, pona dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, or Pernobis peccatoribus, nucleor mortis nostri, Amen. In the honor of Saint Joseph, our guardian angel and all the saints, we pray Gloria Patria Filio, Spiritus Sancta, Secularit in principio, nunc et semper, in secula, seculorum. Amen. Come, Holy Ghost, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit, and it shall be created. We shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Ghost, grant in that same spirit that we may be truly wise, ever to rejoice in his consolation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eating, meditation, reflections, and affections on the passion of Jesus Christ. Behold, here we are at the crucifixion, at that last torture which brought death to Jesus Christ. Here we are at Calvary, converted into a theater for the display of divine love, where God departs this life in an ocean of sufferings. Quote, and when they had come to the place which called Calvary, they crucified him there. Luke 23, 33. The Lord, having with great difficulty at length reached the top of the mount alive, they violently, for the third time, tear his clothes off him, sticking as they did to the sores upon his wounded flesh. And they threw him down upon the cross. The vine land stretches himself out upon the bed of torment. He reaches forth to the executioner's hands and his feet to be nailed. Raising his eyes to heaven, he offers up to his eternal Father the great sacrifice of his life 
for the salvation of men. After the nailing of one of his hands, the nerves shrunk so that they had need of main force and ropes, as was revealed to St. Bridget, to draw the other hand and the feet up to the place where they were to be nailed. And this occasioned so great a tension of the nerves and veins that they broke asunder with a violent convulsion. Quote, they drew my hands and my feet with a rope to the place of the nails so that the nerves and veins were stretched out to the full and broke asunder, unquote. And so much that all his bones might have been numbered. As David had already predicted, quote, they pierced my hands and my feet and they numbered all my bones. Psalm 21, 17, 18. Ah, my Jesus, by what power was it that thy hands and thy feet were nailed to this wood, but by the love which thou didst bear to men? Thou, by the pain of thy pierced hands, were willing to pay the penalty due to all the sins of touch that men had committed. And by the pain of thy feet, thou wert willing to pay for all the steps by which we have gone our way to offend thee. O my crucified love, with these pierced hands, give me thy benediction. O nail this ungrateful heart of mine to thy feet, so that I may no more depart from thee. And that this will of mine, which is so often rebelled against thee, may remain ever steadily fixed in thy holy love. Grant that nothing but thy love and the desire of pleasing thee may move me. Although I behold thee suspended upon this gibbet, I believe thee to be the Lord of the world, the true Son of God and the Savior of mankind. For pity's sake, O oh my Jesus, never abandon me again at any period of my life more especially the hour of my death. In those last agonies and struggles with hell, do thou assist me and strengthen me to die in thy love. I love thee, my crucified love. I love thee with all my heart. St. Augustine says, there is no death more bitter than that of the cross. Quote, among all the different kinds of death, there was none worse, unquote. Because as St. Thomas observes, those who are crucified have their hands and their feet pierced through parts which, being entirely composed of nerves, muscles, and veins, are the most sensitive to pain. The very weight of the body itself, which is suspended from them, causes the pain to be continuous and ever-increasing in its intensity up to the moment of death. But the pains of Jesus were far beyond all other pains. For as the angelic doctor says, the body of Jesus Christ being perfectly constituted, was more quick and sensitive to pain. That body which was fashioned for him by the Holy Spirit, expressively with a view of his suffering, as he foretold, as the apostle testifies, quote, a body that has fitted to me, Hebrews 10, 5. Moreover, St. Thomas says that Jesus Christ took upon himself an amount of suffering so great as to be sufficient to satisfy for the temporal punishment merited by the sins of all mankind. Theopoli tells us that in the crucifixion there were dwelt 28 strokes of a hammer upon his hands and 36 upon his feet. My soul, beloved, behold thy Lord, behold thy life hanging upon that tree. Quote, and thy life shall be, as it were, hanging before thee. Deuteronomy 28, verse 66. Behold how upon that gibbet of pain, fastened by those cruel nails, he finds no place of rest. Now he leans his weight upon his hands, now upon his feet. But on what part soever he leans, the anguish increases. He turns his afflicted head now on one side, now on the other. And if he lets it fall forwards, his breast his hand, the hands, by the additional weight, are rent the more. If he lowers it towards his shoulders, the shoulders are pierced with thorns. If he leans back upon the cross, the thorns enter more deeply into his head. Oh, my Jesus, what a death of bitterness is this that thou art enduring. Oh, my crucified Redeemer, I adore thee on this throne of ignominy and pain. Upon this cross I read it written that thou art a king, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. But apart from this title of scorn, what is the evidence that thou dost give of being a king? 
Uh, these hands transfixed with nails, this head pierced with thorns, this throne of sorrow, this lacerated flesh. Make me well know that thou art king, but a king of love. With humility then and tenderness do I draw near to kiss thy sacred feet, transfix for love of me. I clasp my arms this cross on which thou, being made a victim of love, was willing to offer thyself in sacrifice for me to the divine justice. Quote, being made obedient unto death, the death of a cross. O blessed obedience, which obtained for us the pardon of our sins. And what would have become of me, O my Savior, had thou not paid the penalty for me? I thank thee. O oh, my love, and by the merits of this sublime obedience do I pray thee to grant me the grace of obedience in everything to thy divine will. All that I desire, paradise, for it is that I may love thee forever with all my strength. Concluding prayer, I give thee thanks, O oh God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. For the light which thou now bestowest upon me, I make a firm purpose of my will that I may, in uniformity with your divine will of triune God, keep my resolutions and keep them well for the love of thee and thy mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary, so that through her intercession I may receive by her loving hands the grace to be ever faithful to my resolutions, my state in life and rule of life now until the hour of my death. I give thee thanks, O God, for the patience with which thou hast hitherto borne with me. I see that although I forgot thee, Thou didst not forget me. I am sorry, my sovereign good, for having turned my back upon thee, and I am now resolved to give myself entirely to thee. And why should I delay that thou mayest abandon me, and that death may find me as miserable and ungrateful as I have been even until now? No, my God, I will no more offend thee, but will love thee. I love thee, O oh, infinite goodness. Give me perseverance and thy holy love. I ask for nothing more. Mary, refuge of sinners, intercede for all the holy souls in purgatory, for all poor sinners, particularly myself. In the nomen of Patri, Filii, Spiritus Sancti, Amen. Have a blessed evening, O slaves of Mary.